I didn't realize how cool webcams are now these days. Track me. Amazing. <laughs> I've been using the Go 3 as my webcam and let me tell you, this is a major improvement. Napit mo ano Teka lang, hinahabol niya kasi ako eh. Tab, ano? Tab bro? Tab. <laughs> oh, sige. Obs, obs bot? <laughs> Yun. Anyways, they've set this AI-powered 4K webcam for me to try out. Ooh. And yeah, this is a sponsored video, but I'm still allowed to talk shit about the product. And I'll also mention what I think are the two downsides of this camera at the end of this video. But first, here's what's inside the box. Oh! What? When you open it up, everything is already neatly placed inside the travel case. Whoa! That includes the stand, cable, and the camera itself. Oh! Oh, and an adapter. Ooh. Be careful with this one since it tends to catapult itself when you try and close the case. Whee! Now let's try and set it up. It took me a while to figure out how the stand works, but like most tech today, it secures itself with a strong magnet. You can mount this on something as thin as your laptop or a portable monitor. A quarter inch thread is also available in case you want to mount this on a small tripod. And again, like most tech today, it's powered by a long ass USB-C cable. I didn't realize that pointing the camera towards you will activate the tiny two and pointing it downward will put it into sleep mode. I usually just use voice commands, which never fail to entertain me. Hi, Tiny. <laughs> After plugging it in, download the software and firmware update on their website, then you are good to go. Let's check out the cool shit they have on their software. Standard mode obviously is just static, it's not tracking me. I guess the normal tracking would start tracking me, right? There you go, upper body. I assume cracks my upper body. So the close up would be closing in on my head, right? Or no? It's not a close up, what's happening? Headless, okay? Whoa! Whoa! Lower body, then I would assume to point downwards. Here. Whoa! What the? F Test mode. All right, this is my favorite feature since you could do a top down shot of whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know what the whiteboard does, honestly. Hand would follow my hand, obviously. Those are not my hands. There you go. Finally. You can track your left hand or the right hand. So, okay. Follow my left hand. It's pretty fast. And then the right hand. Would it still follow my left? Whoa, that's pretty smart. I guess that's where the AI thing comes in handy, huh? You also have the presets options. By using the gimbal, you could assign the first preset. Okay, so this is preset one. It's still with <laughs> that. Anyways, you have three presets to add. I feel like let's check out the voice commands, which is my favorite part of this product. Okay, so to wake up the Tiny 2, you should say hi Tiny, but in our case, it's already open. It's also available in Mandarin. If you go to the settings and change it to Mandarin, you can control the Tiny 2 in Mandarin, dude. What? Shoot me, Aunt Tiny. What? <laughs> to wake it up in Mandarin is hi Tiny. It's the same thing. Hi, Tiny. There's other voice commands that you can try to track me. It's already tracking. In order for you to turn on human tracking, just say unlock me. There you go. Now it's not tracking me. And in order for it to track me again, I should just say track me. It crazy. Zoom in closer. Zoom out further. Dang, good thing they kept this paper in handy. Position one. Okay, aside from the fun voice controls, there's also gestures that you can do. So to turn off tracking, just raise your hand like this, and the light will beep, and it's no longer tracking you. I think you could use the other hand as well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It works. Damn, and I assume the right hand works as well. What? <laughs> What's the dynamic zoom for? I don't know what it does, honestly. It doesn't say here. Onto focus is kind of okay. Let's test that theory. Uh-uh, bro. There you go. It's kind of slow. Maybe if we turn off face tracking, face focus mode, and turn it to global. Yeah, it's pretty fast. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way better. Auto exposure. Things that you just set on default. Unless you want to be very specific with these settings. Beauty. It's native beauty. <laughs> Classic. No, dude. Man, there you go. Adonis. 
I like it. I became a bit more tan and I have more jawline. Body slim. Is it slim? It's slimming my head, not my body. <laughs> what are these crazy features? Slightly increases your height. And I noticed that once I change the sliders, my PC kind of screams a bit. I guess it takes a lot of resources to achieve. Shoulder. Pretty sure nothing happened. But yeah, these are very weird features, dude. More filters that you can try. I honestly don't know if people are just giving this. Yeah, you just stick to the standard one. Background blur. Background blur is great. But yeah, I could see a sizable amount of decrease in frame rate. And there's a little bit of distortions on my face right there. Well, I don't have the remote control, but I guess it has more features if you buy it from the website. But pretty much that's everything on the software. The video quality on this thing is amazing, and the colors are pretty accurate too. You also have a few video formats to choose from, although I don't know why there isn't a 1440p option, and the 1080p 60fps option crops in when switching from 1080p 30fps. Weird. I'm not exactly sure how the two axis gimbal and AI tracking work, but it doesn't miss, man. Regardless of how fast you try to take yourself away from the frame, the tiny tube will find you. The framing here is a bit slanted though since I have it mounted on a monitor that's tilted a little bit. But as I mentioned, mounting it on a tripod is also possible. It has a built-in microphone too, although I'm pretty sure that if you can afford a webcam like this, there's a huge chance that you are using a dedicated microphone instead. And the built-in microphone is a bit delayed in the recording of their software's video preview. Tracking standard. What zone tracking? There are other webcam competitors from brands like Insta360 and Elgato, but the Tiny2 has the biggest sensor of them all, delivering good details, dynamic range, and an amazing low light oh. performance. And according to other tech reviewers, apparently, this is the best one in the market. I can test that statement since I don't have the other competing webcams with me, but sure, I'll take their word for it. So the question is, who is the target market for this product? And why should you buy it? This camera is perfect for people who want to up their webcam game, especially professionals who are often on live calls presenting. Several features of the Tiny2 are beneficial for these types of people. Streamers could also take advantage of this camera's insane tracking ability and superior quality without having to purchase a pricier mirrorless camera. But to be honest, I don't know much about streaming. Now let's talk about the two reasons that may discourage people from buying this product. First, I would say it's the price. I do find it quite expensive, but the quality and features of this webcam, I would say justify the price. It's a bang for the buck item. Although I find some of the settings and features on the software a bit extra. What? My suggestion is to wait for a sale because trust me, it's worth it, bro. You will not be disappointed. The second one is the heat. After a few minutes of use, I tried manually putting it to sleep and it felt like touching a metal object that sat under the sun for a while. But to be fair, like what I often say in my reviews, I live in a hot environment and I don't have an AC so most of my tech heats up pretty fast but this one surprised me the most. Even at sleep mode, it still feels a bit warm. It hasn't overheated on me yet but I will soon find out if the heat has any drastic effect on the item. But so far so good. Well there you have it, my first ever review of an AI powered 4K webcam. Just to be front, I really thought an AI powered webcam was a ridiculous gimmick like who's this expensive tech for? but I'm surprised how good of a product this is. So far, this is my number one favorite tech item that has been sent to me and I highly recommend it. Although yeah, it's pretty expensive. Let me know what you think about this crazy product. Thanks for watching and thank you, Omspot. Subscribe, I guess.